Island. And today we're visiting Kai Terry Terry. We are Growing Up Without Borders, a family of five traveling to every country in the world. It all began with a five week trip to Europe back in 2013, which then led to us traveling to now six continents and 98 countries. We've been blessed to spend many months here in New Zealand and explored everything from the very top to the very bottom. Are you ready to join the journey? Let's go. So we just arrived here. We are staying now close to the city called Nelson. And thankfully, we're doing another home exchange in this beautiful big home. You can hear the ocean across the way. But um, you know those doors where you like unlock and then you have to go a little bit more? Well, this door is just like one of these hard doors. So you actually have to push hard. So thankfully, we're not checking in in like the middle of the night. And the lady was um, so nice and answered her phone. So in we go. Holy huge. So there's a whole upstairs, a whole downstairs. So here we go. We arrive in the downstairs area. Got bedroom one over here. Got bedroom two over here. I think it sleeps 10. Does it sleep 10 oh, people? Oh wait, it sleeps 12. Whoa, look at all the games that. and books. It's crazy. It's so big. Bathroom. This is like a lounge. Wait till area. I go upstairs. Come. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. There's this is going upstairs. Here we go. Here we go. This is the. Oh. Whoa, look at the kitchen. Look at the nice, nice table. Beautiful. And then a really nice outdoor sitting area. Yeah. A beautiful kitchen. Look at Looks how nice really it is. Look at that. They have a milk frother. Oh, so cool. And a really that nice trays. coffee maker. Nice. And then a nice sitting area over there. Let's go see what else is in this house. It's pretty big. Oh, they have two fridges. One fridge here, one, one fridge there. there. It's massive. Wow. Uh, There's another bedroom here. here for some more people. Nice cozy blankies. And then another bathroom. I'm just talking to myself. And then there's another bedroom. This is like the master bedroom, I guess, because it goes all the way around. Yeah. And, and they then, have heaters in the bed. Oh, really? oh yeah, because it's kind of getting cold. And then bathroom. So cool. Wow. Yeah, mom, there's 12 beds. Wow. So this is like a perfect home away from home. So this is our house yeah. for the next two weeks. We're going to stay here and uh, do some hikes. We're right beside all the nature trails and everything. Right by the ocean too. Yeah, yeah, right beside the ocean. And like, look at it's everything's built up on a hill like that. So can't wait to show you. It's going to be beautiful. We're unpacking the house. And what did you just find, Chloe? This is so smart because a lot of times you get mixed up. This one's for vegetables. Yeah. This one's for fish. This one's for hot food. And this one's for meat. It's so smart because oftentimes you'd be like, do I put the meat on this one or this one? You know? Yeah. I love this. Hey. <laughs> first things first, gotta finish the YouTube videos. But at least I got a beautiful view. 
Mm -mm -mm. Our first meal in our home away from home. We've got some yummy chicken. How do you call it? What are we eating? I think it's like a stir fry. We put egg, we put broccoli and chicken, and we put like tzatziki sauce. Basically Asian. Oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. I was just gonna say, so behind us is where we're staying. It doesn't look that big, but inside, how big is it, Julia? Ginormous. Ginormous. And we're so excited because, um, so in Nicaragua, the very first day we were there, we met with a family from Rotorua, and uh, they are gonna come stay with us this weekend in this big, beautiful house. And we're literally right on the ocean, so we're gonna take you on a little tour of this area. It's called Kai Terry Terry. And uh, it's just, if you're into nature, this is definitely the spot to come. So you can, you can literally see the house basically over there in a distance. And this is how close we are to the beach. Literally walking distance to the beach. Pretty, it's like a little bay. It's really pretty, eh? Test the water and see how cold it is. How are you gonna try it with shoes on? Careful not to get soaky. How cold the water is. I think you need a you need a wet uh -oh. suit for sure. <laughs> it's beautiful. Here goes Julia. Leashes and flip flops. For a swim? Yeah, with our friends. Yay! So just off the beach, you can take this little path, and it goes up and over to get to the little village. It goes up, 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 and away. Here, I made it. Here we go. So you get to this lookout point. There's a second bay and a tiny little town below. So look at this, it actually keeps going up, up, up before you can go down. And in the village, it looks like there's rental bikes. So we're gonna go check that out. Although it might be closed since we're technically in their winter months. So you know what's so cool that I just realized is that we met them in Nicaragua on the beach and like now we're reuniting on the beach. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Except for you don't have surfboards. Yeah. Well. There's mountain biking though. Yeah. And there's At least there's swimming. a beach and sand. Yeah. It's kind of cold to swim, but still. So this is where the path ends, right at the road. Oh, there's a sign. Welcome to Kai Terry Terry. There's a sign for blue penguins here. What is a blue penguin? Oh, look at how cute they are. I they need, need your support. Aww. I've always them, but those look like ducks. No, those are ducks. Ducks. Shucks, ducks. Where are the blue penguins? So their bike hire place is actually closed for the season, but here you can kind of get an idea as to all the different tracks and places you can go. It's quite a big area. They have this Mapua Ferry and it will bring you to different bays and then you can like go for a nice hike and then catch up with the ferry again to bring you back. So it's kind of cool. This is where you go shopping. Yep. Which Richmond. Man. So it's about. Yeah, actually. So here, Motueka is also a little town. You can go shopping in there. They have stores there and stuff like that, like bakeries and such. Oh, that's good. So it looks like here they have a restaurant, the store, and they have like a campground over there. And I think this is a, a accommodations over there. Mm -hmm. So this is the little area. Let's go check out their store. So it's a little convenience store. Right, but the stores you see in Florida when you stay at the yeah. Oh, they do mini pets. Mini golf. 
Yeah, yeah basically the like basic like a little campsite. Well, not even. Like a year. And of course, you have the public bathrooms, which are free and clean. Always a bonus. Yes. You never know when you need to go to the loo. <laughs> Tours that you can do. They have so many tours. And I'm like, I've never seen this before. This is like big massive kayak that you can all go on. And boat tours. This one goes to the apple. Oh, we're definitely gonna go to there and show you that split apple. I would like to swim there. You would? Yeah. It's gonna be a little cold. If you have a wetsuit. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is the important spot where they make coffee. Holy, on the sign back there, it said that if a dog harms one of those blue penguins or kills them, if they kill them, you risk imprisonment and up to a $20,000 fine. So they take their wildlife very seriously here in this country. They should. This here is their local school bus. This is what the school buses look like here in Abel Tasman's area. Oh, there's only like five kids. <laughs> It's a small, only a small amount of kids live here, I think. Okay, so this is our, did we eat here last night? Yeah, we did. This is our second meal in this beautiful home. And the whole time we've been in New Zealand, we have not once made chicken cordon bleu. We have like the most delicious recipe with the white wine sauce. And we don't put it in the oven, but we put it in a, like a, a pan basically to cook it. And that's what we're having for tonight's dinner. Wait. Hmm. We're all taking pictures. I am taking pictures. I'm trying to take a piece of stick. Mm. It's like creamy. This is a recipe we definitely have to share with everyone on YouTube. So our friends are currently on the ferry from Wellington to Picton and it's a three hour ferry ride. Then they have to take a three hour drive to us. So it's really exciting. We're eating breakfast right now and can't wait. So excited. On uh, your friends coming, what are your thoughts? First of all, they are getting fully prepared, meaning we've got like the whole table set for them to come I'm, have dinner. I keep asking, I've asked my mom, I think like 20 times, we need to go get the groceries because I want to cook. What are you, we're making shepherd pie. pie. It's gonna be so good. The girls are like so anxious, but we were trying to get work done, trying getting everything done before they come. We're so excited. We haven't seen them for like over a year and a half. Yeah. Um, so and we haven't seen like other kids, friends, Pretty in what much. feels like forever. We are nearly in Kai Tere Tere. We're catching up with the patterns. We've driven down from Rotorua. We left yesterday at nine o'clock in the morning. And now we spent the night in Wellington last night, took the ferry across some nice swelly seas and um, yeah. Yes. What are your thoughts girls? I'm excited. I haven't seen like no, I haven't hanged out with somebody for so long. It's still only hitting me that they're coming because it's been I, so long. I, when you realize you're just like what? And the last time we saw them it was in San Juan del Sur in Nicaragua. We had an absolute ball with them. We are like super stoked, yes. eh? And me and their son Cameron, we like to talk, so we're really good friends, so it's gonna be really exciting. Yeah, you guys talk like on a daily. And so does technically Chloe, Chloe almost. Chloe and Jesse. Kids have been staying in contact with Chloe, Angelique, and Julia ever since. I've been like pen pals. Yeah, what about you, Angelique? I'm excited. Yay! We're excited. We're super excited. Yay, it's can't wait. Woohoo! See you guys That's soon! Great. Do we prepare a meal plan yes. for when our friends are there? What's our meal plan for the next few days? It's all in this. Okay, let's go. So we're just the sous chefs here. Chloe's the actual master chef. So we're following her orders. Broccoli is, is number one. This is the left. Here we go. So we've got, let's see our meals. Chicken cordon bleu, a broccoli Asian meal. Uh, shepherd's pie with some salad, a barbecue, pasta, pasta, lentil, lentil dinner, dessert. carrot soup, sandwiches. Ooh, it sounds really good. Alrighty, potatoes are getting cut off. We got a delicious brownie in there. We've got the meats gonna go in soon. Potatoes, some boiling. Mm -mm -mm. And they're gonna be here real soon, right, girls? Watch out. 
Like, we're all watching the world right now, like, very, like, observant. We're like, just like um, a cat watching a string, you know? Like, yeah, we're uh, like, is it them? Patiently waiting. Every car is like, is it them? And there was one car that stopped in front of our, our house, but it was someone else. Oh my goodness, they're in here. There's on one side. You saw them? Yeah. Come on, Angelique. Oh <laughs> Should I go down? Oh, I'm quick, so quick. nervous. I don't know why. <laughs> Or ah. Lights, camera, action! Ah. <laughs> Shoes, lights, more lights. Quick, let's go. Chloe, get your feet. <laughs> You're barefoot. Where are they? Where are they? They went around the other way. <laughs> no. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> We did. Oh, good to you see you. Hi. Hey. Hello. 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 H
There it is, split right down in half. Like pretty cool. Think, oh, it must have fallen there. But well, yeah, you wonder from, 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 where? from where and yeah, where did that rock come from? How long has it been split? What caused the split? Photo shoot, photo shoot. Another photo shoot. Collingwood. Collingwood So we just stopped along the side of the road. We're on another hiking trail about 10 minutes to go look at a really cool lookout point. What are these? Water, the stealthy sculptor. So like the water formed all these different rocks here. How cool is that? Wow. Seriously guys, this country is like so magical. Every time you're walking through forest or anything, you just feel like you're, like you're in like the fairy tale lands of New Zealand. It's so cool, you can walk anywhere in New Zealand like this. They've got all these really cool paths all safe and secure. Here we go. This is the viewpoint. <laughs> it's a pretty nice little cute, apparently. Yeah. 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 Not there. Look at how high up we are. We were hungry. <laughs> so we're at least a thousand meters, no? I would say. So that lookout point is called Hawk's Lookout. You guys found some cool rocks, like the rocks we saw when we were coming in. Look at that. Yeah, it's cool, eh? Yeah, it is. Look at the formation on it. That's weird. Must be wind erosion. And water? Yeah, but where would the water come? Because we're up pretty high. But it says that on the in the sign over there. It said water, the sculptor. Oh, yeah. yeah, so maybe from thousands of years ago, maybe? Yeah. yeah. It's bizarre. It's crazy. The full drive from Kai Terry Terry to Collingwood is about an hour and 20 minutes, but of course we did a lot of stops along the way. Our next stop was to a place called Poo Poo Springs. Looks like Greenstone. You mustn't touch the water. Apparently it's like sacred water here. You can't touch it. Hey, it's a pigeon. Right up on it's a New Zealand pigeon. Yeah, yep. a wood pigeon. Yeah, you could see right to the bottom. Look at that. All of this river is fed from this spring from underground. So all this water is coming from right there. Coming up here and then going out to sea, basically. Wow. So we just found out something new. The word tapu means like sacred in Maori. The enchanted forests of New Zealand. That's what it feels like everywhere you look. It looks yeah, so right. enchanted. Look at on top of this piece. That's pretty cool. It looks like from underneath and actually there is a spot that you have like a viewing point, but it's not here. I don't know where it is where you can actually see underwater. Reminds me of like Sinotis. It does remind me of Sinotis. Look at their rock. What is this rock? Greenstone. This is the greenstone rock, yeah. Hmm. 
And after what seemed to be a very long drive because we went over a big mountaintop, we finally arrived to Collingwood. Look it, that's what it looks like here. <laughs> Art Center Cafe. I'm so disappointed I was gonna get a coffee, but they're closed. Mm. This is the Post and Telegraph office. This is definitely a mural town. This is a Pioneer Motel. Over there, they've got murals over there. Look at that, this building that I just found here, it says maternity home on the window. This is where people used to come in the 1930s to 40s to have their babies. Huh. So this Collingwood has 250 people, so it's very small. And uh, it's like a place you come out if you want to enjoy the nature. You know there's a Collingwood in Canada too. Oh yeah, there is. Um, no, on the way back too, we saw a spot for mussels. So we don't eat mussels, but our friends Anne and Brandon love them. So we're going to stop there on the way back and then head over the big mountain pass road to get back home. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Cool cafe. You can see Kai Terry Terry here in the bottom. And that's the split apple rocker right there. And then we're all the way up. So there's like eight or nine great walks here in New Zealand and all of them are about three to six day walks where you walk, you sleep in a hut, you have to bring all your food and uh, all your things that you need for your walk. But essentially the huts are like next to nothing and uh, you can just see all these beautiful sceneries along the way. So we might end up doing one, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> of cars that are here at the Muscle Inn. I think it's a pretty good place to stop at. It's, uh, it's quite a famous uh, music venue. A music venue? Yeah, yeah, I don't know if there'll be any tonight, but, but they do wicked big parties here. Wow. Yeah. Here we go, the Muscle Inn. Oh, sweet, they have a really nice fire going. together with the Kiwis. Really fun. Yeah, we had an absolutely fabulous day today. Epic. It was really, really good. It was really good, really good to catch up with I'm you I'm going to say it was a woohoo day. Woohoo! <laughs>